love lives here. Earlier this week, I sent out an email. Actually, oh, not quite that earlier this week. Uh, on Friday, uh, you received an email, and we were talking about uh, I mentioned that, that, you know, one of the things that doesn't change, that there's been so much change in our lives, especially in the past, oh, I don't know, six or 18 months, year and a half, right? That one of the things that really hasn't changed for our community is our commitment to that mission, to um, emboldening people to live their highest potential through the transformative power of love. And something else that has not changed is our vision of envisioning, we envision a world that works for everyone and for all of creation, that those things are constant, even though life has been changing, our community is changing, the way we participate in community is changing. <laughs> okay. I was like, whoa. Uh, the way we are participating, sorry, folks online, uh, we had a device in the room that was on that was giving feedback. Um, so all of these things have been changing, but what remains constant and what has remained constant is spirit has remained constant. Truth has remained constant. The mission has remained constant. The vision has remained constant. What is changing and what is continuing to change, what is continuing to evolve and continuing to grow is how we are fulfilling that mission, how we are living up and being an open vessel, a vehicle through which the vision can fulfill itself through each one of us. And so that is what is changing, but yet the vision and the mission, the idea, the high idea, spirit's high idea, is not changing. Love is not changing. Spirit is not changing. Truth is not changing. The way we are expressing it, the way that we are being called to express it in the world, that is transforming. That is evolving. That is changing. That is growing. So, this month here at Centers for Spiritual Living, well, the whole year center for, here at Centers for Spiritual Living, we're working with the idea, we're working with the overall theme of timeless wisdom, evolutionary vision. And this month, as I mentioned last week, we are talking about taking a pause for guidance, about pausing for guidance, that the high idea, the vision for the themes for this year is that we are on this transformational journey. The, we are on this journey of unfoldment, of evolving and unfolding. And we've come to a time in the year where we have the opportunity to take a pause and to catch our breath for a moment and see where it is that we've gone so far and how far we've come and see where it is that we're going. And so we're taking a pause for guidance. And last week, we took a time out for a tune-up. Right? That was what we talked about last week. We took a time out for a tune-up. Right? Because maybe your oil pressure is a little low, right? Or your tire pressure is a little low at this point in the journey. And maybe we ought to like check to make sure our spark plugs aren't dirty, right? Or what have you. So we looked at that last week <clears throat> in looking at taking time for a tune-up, meaning taking time for a spiritual tune-up. It was an opportunity for us to come together last week and talk about those spiritual practices that we have that really support us, that really sustain us, that when we are tuned in and when we are practicing those spiritual practices, um, it keeps us running more like a well-oiled machine, right? It keeps us running better, um, easier, that we have uh, less uh, gunk, <laughs> right? And how easy it is to forget that, oh, all right, the check oil light came on, or oh yeah, the maintenance, the maintenance light came on. All right, yeah, I'll go to Valvoline next week. I'll go to Valvoline. Okay, I'll go to Valvoline next month. All right. I, mm, right? That somehow we managed to keep putting it off. And so we sometimes do that with our own spiritual practice too, right? Okay, I didn't pray today. I'll pray tomorrow. I didn't meditate today, I'll meditate tomorrow. I didn't vision today, I'll vision tomorrow. I didn't say an affirmation today, I'll say an affirmation tomorrow. I didn't get out of the house today to do any service, so I'll do that tomorrow. Right? 
And then time just kind of slips and life continues to happen. And somehow we've like, oh, wow. All right, now it's making that clunky sound. And maybe I really do need to take this in. Life's starting to make a clunky sound, and I really need to take this in. And so we had the opportunity really to look at and experience together in this room a meditation of going deep and going within and taking that time to pause and taking the time for a tune-up and recharging a little bit. And this week and next week, I want to continue with this pause for guidance. So this week I'm calling it, the theme of the month is also the theme of the day, a pause for guidance. Next week, a pause for guidance, part two. All right, real original, I know, but you know, it's what Spirit said, so I'm just like, yes, okay, so part two. Before we jump into pause for guidance today, what I want to remind you from last week as well is that the community, our community, all of us together, we're here to support one another, yes? We're here to lean into one another, yes? We're here to call each other higher, yes? We're here to say, you know, I see you're struggling. What, you know, what can I know for you today? Yes? Right. Okay. And how many of us actually take advantage of that? Yes. We have lots of support, and I want to encourage you to really reach out. There, like um, Dinah said here, like, don't leave here with something heavy on your heart. Go get prayer after service in the prayer room. Go do it. It's free. Dinah and Ed are not going to bite you. Probably. <laughs> right? You know? We have meditation every single morning, Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. to about 8.30, there is a practitioner there leading us in meditation and then following up with prayer. So every single day, Monday through Saturday, six days a week, you have the opportunity on a daily basis to join in community and meditate together in community and receive prayer in community daily. Sunday mornings here, we come here, we're here together, but we also have meditation here in the room at 9.30 where we can meditate together. We have spirit groups still going, and there been some of them are on pause for the summer, but they're going to restart in fall. If you're missing connection, if you're missing being able to be with somebody, being able to be in a group and have great conversations and chat and maybe have some food and a whole lot of fun, join a spirit group. They're there. We're here to support you, to love you, to share, right? And if you've been missing classes, well, guess what? Classes are coming up in September as well. We've got two classes starting in September and then one starting a little bit later in fall. But the two starting in September are spiritual principles and practices. Hello. Spiritual principles and practices, which helps us get back into like, oh, right. These are our practices. These are our principles. It's a brand new class. It's a brand new five-week class. That's starting in September. The other class that's starting in September, for those of you who are considering moving on the prac track, or even those of you who are not considering moving on the prac track, is Essential Earnest. Essential Earnest is about the Essential Earnest Homes. It's the essential teachings of the founder of our organization, Earnest Homes, and what it is that he was teaching and bringing forth. And so it's all these beautiful snippets from all of the different writings and his different lectures and sermons and everything that's been beautifully put together with a continual theme that really deepens you and deepens us into whatever language you choose, whatever it is that you resonate with, that's what we're listening to. Ed had a beautiful meditation this morning um, from Joel Goldsmith, and Joel Goldsmith uses a lot of Christian language, like Lord and Spirit and God and 
um, master teacher, Jesus the master teacher. And Joel Goldsmith uses a lot of Christian scripture to communicate general principles, spiritual principles, broad spiritual principles. And Ed led us through, and there was the passage of speak, and then there was the word Lord, which I know some people are like, right? (laughs) Speak, Lord, thy servant heareth, right? Was, Was part of the meditation this morning. And Lord is another word for law. Lord is another word for spirit. Lord is another word for universe. Lord is another word for higher self. Lord is for another word for infinite intelligence. So whatever word, don't get hung up on the word, the language. Whatever word is going to work for you, that's what you're tapping into, and that's what we're accessing when we turn within. Because what we know is that spirit, the universe, divine energy is all that there is, and it's everywhere present. And so we, can, we constantly and have access to it. It is ever available to us, through us, as us, right? As Dinah mentioned in her invocation. So visioning is basically a meditative process where we go in, get quiet, and we just ask a series of questions. And we wait for that intelligence that is within us to respond. And sometimes it responds very clearly. It's a clear voice. Sometimes it's an image. Sometimes it's a word. Sometimes it's a phrase. And sometimes it's just silence. And that is perfectly okay. And that is absolutely wonderful. Because what it is, is it's about the practice of tuning in, of pausing for guidance. Right? Because this infinite intelligence, these... um, omniscience that is knows way more and has a much bigger picture than what you and I do. Would you say yes to that? Yeah. Or no, whatever. (laughs) Whatever you're thinking. If you agree, it's good. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and let's do this. So, What I invite you to first think about is just get comfortable and just think about an area in your life, it doesn't have to be big, it can be small, that you would like a little guidance around, that you like a little support around. Maybe it's, you know, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, going on a trip. Maybe it's larger than that. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a career change. Maybe it's a relationship. Whatever it is you'd like a little extra, just a little extra guidance and support around. So just allow one thing. You may have a laundry list, but just allow one thing to come up. Okay? And we're just going to go with that. All right, so now I invite you to turn within and close your eyes. And we're going to center in oneness. Recognizing that there is just one power, there is just one presence, there is just one infinite eternal. There is one life, one love, simply one. And it is all that there is. There is nothing but this one. This one is ever giving of itself. It is ever expanding. It is generous. It withholds nothing. It is the one wisdom. It is infinite. It is eternal. It is peace. And it is the love intelligence that created absolutely everything. And so it is divine right order. It is harmony. It is beauty. It is joy.
And this love, intelligence, maintains and sustains its creation. It maintains and sustains its beloved because it is maintaining and sustaining itself. And so this love withholds nothing. This love is absolutely unconditional. It just is ever giving. It is ever present. Never withheld from anyone or anything. It is always available, always present. And so it is present in us right now. And so we center into this oneness and we anchor into this love. And we ask the first question. What is spirit's highest idea of itself? What is the universe's highest idea of itself? What is energy's highest idea of itself? As my life, or whatever it is that you have brought to mind that you're seeking guidance around, as my health, as my finances, as my relationship, as my home, as my upcoming trip, whatever it is you're looking for guidance around, What is spirit's highest idea of itself as this? Just simply listen and allow. allow whatever comes to come. There's no need to judge it, no need to figure it out. What is spirit's highest idea? And simply breathe into that. And on the next breath, We ask the question, what must I release? What must I let go of? What obstacles have been in my way? What must I release or let go of so that this high idea may fulfill itself through me as me? What must I let go of or release? And once again, we listen and we allow.
And breathing in one more time. With the next breath, we ask, what must I embrace or embody? What must I become? So that this vision may fulfill itself through me. How do I have to stretch and grow so that I can be a greater space for this vision, this high idea to be fulfilled in my life? What must I embrace or embody? And breathing in again. The last question for this morning. Is there anything else? Spirit, divine intelligence, energy, love. Is there anything else it would have me know in this moment? Is there anything else to be revealed at this time? Is there any last bit of information wanting to present itself to me in this moment? And so I give thanks. I give thanks for that which has been revealed here this day and thanks for that which remains a mystery, trusting and knowing that all is revealed when and as I need the information, if I need the information. I give thanks for the guidance that I've received here this day, whether it was clear or whether it was just sitting in beautiful silence or somewhere in between. I give thanks for this time and this space. I give thanks for this practice. And I commit to being a transparency for the divine, to being a vessel through which this high idea expresses as my life. And I simply allow it to be. And so it is. So as you're gently coming back to this space, I invite you, if you want to take a note or something on your phone, or uh, if you've got some kind of writing instrument or whatever, write it on your palm or what have you, just <clears throat> Allow whatever came up for you in this moment to be, allow yourself to be present with that. And don't worry if you can't remember all of it, it's okay. You'll remember what you need to remember in this moment. And as we move forward in the day, and as you move forward in the week. Doing this practice of visioning 
is an opportunity to pause for guidance. It's an opportunity to open and listen and allow that love intelligence that is in all, through all, as all, to provide that guidance that we are seeking. If we're willing to just be still enough, quiet enough, to take a moment and listen. So on our YouTube channel, there is a, we have a visioning session that I created because I also teach the online visioning course for Centers for Spiritual Living. And I created this online, I created this visioning session um, that's on our YouTube channel. So throughout the week, you can go back or, you know, throughout however long because it's on YouTube. So <laughs> it's there, right? Um, I invite you to go and access that. The entire meditation, the entire visioning meditation there is about 15 minutes. And I, on that uh, YouTube video, I guide you through the visioning session much the way we did today. And as you continue to vision, you get more clarity. It's not a one and done. Okay, I visioned, so now we're done, right? It's not a one and done. It's an ongoing process. And the more you do it, the clearer it becomes. The clearer the things, the clearer the high idea becomes. The clearer it becomes of, all right, you know, this behavior has been in my way for way too long. It's time I actually do something about it, right? Or, you know, I've been called to embrace this. I've been called to, like, open my arms wide and receive this. I've been called to stretch in this way. And you know what? It's about time I actually do it right? All that is revealed in visioning as we continue to vision, as we continue to move forward with visioning. So I strongly encourage you this week, especially, um, to do that, to go and visit the YouTube channel and watch it and listen and have a little piece of paper there and follow along with it, okay? The other thing I want to share with you is that on Wednesday nights, for now the next four Wednesdays, we are visioning as a community, and community doesn't mean this person, just this person, right? The community, right? All of you and all of our online folks, right? Um, as a community, we're coming together on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. to vision on Zoom. The link is there on the website. So it's really easy to click to. You just click on it, and then it takes you right there. So just go to the website, riversidecsl.org, and click on the link, and it'll take you there on Wednesday nights. We are visioning for our community because, as I said at the beginning of our time together, we are evolving. We are growing. We are changing. The mission remains the same. The vision of a world that works for everyone and all of creation remains the same. But how we as a community are called to be together, how we as a community are called to show up, how we as a community are called to live it out and fulfill it is evolving and growing. So I invite you to be part of catching that vision, catching that high idea, and being a space through which this high idea for our beloved community is being revealed. So once again, that is Wednesdays at 7 p.m. through September 2nd. Yes? Yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, this past Wednesday, we had two beloveds, not from our community, um, but who are friends of our community. We had somebody join us from CSL Edmonton, Canada, and somebody else join us from another place here in Southern California. And it's exciting to hear spirit coming through them about our community too, because they join us online. They participate, they know who we are, they love us too. So it's awesome to experience, even though they're attending elsewhere on a regular basis, they pop in here and they spend time with us as well. They're part of our greater community. So I invite you to please participate on Wednesdays. Nice deep breath. So this week, remember to pause for guidance. And next week, 
we'll do a different kind of pause for guidance. It'll be pause 2.0, pause part two, right? Love.